Hello, welcome to another edition of How To Test at Presque Isle Wine Cellars. Today we're going to be going over um, the aeration oxidation method to test for free SO2 in your wine. So uh, a quick um, overrun of all the equipment and necessary things that you need to run an aeration oxidation test. Uh, we're going to go over some of the chemicals. So some of the basic things you need is a hydrogen peroxide. Just run down to your local drugstore, get a 3% solution of hydrogen peroxide. 99 cents. Um, a 25% solution of phosphoric acid supplied here at Presque Isle. A 1 tenth normality sodium hydroxide solution which will dilute down here during the test. And a methyl red, methyl blue indicator solution for seeing the color change. So these are the chemicals we need. Um, the aeration uh, apparatus which is built in house here at Presque Isle um, has the heart shaped flask, your receival flask, and your stop lock to breathe through and vent. Uh, there's a couple different methods to do this test. We can either push through with a small aquarium pump and break apart and diso disassociate the free SO2, or we can set this up with a venturi apparatus to hook up to your sink to flow through and pull a vacuum through the system. So our system here we have that we're showing demonstrating today is with a vacuum pump pushing through the system. So in order to run this test we have to <clears throat> do a couple simple things, simple dilutions and simple um, concentration additions. The method of this uh, test is that we're going to take 20 milliliters of wine, which I've already pre-measured out. There's 20 milliliters of a white wine that we are going to put into the heart-shaped flask, which is inside an ice bath in order to help keep the SO2 bound in there while we're running the test before it releases. We next are going to take some phosphoric acid, 25% solution, and we are going to put 10 milliliters into there. So. Please use a, uh, a suction device of some sort when dealing with phosphoric acid and some of these chemicals. Never put your lips on there and suck up the, uh, the acid and some of the other things. So we're just going to draw up 10 milliliters of phosphoric acid. We're going to add it to the wine. is going to help to break apart the bonds and let the SO2 travel over into the collection vessel. So once you have the acid and the wine made up, you want to seal up this side of the vessel. Keep this a closed system. All right. We're now going to make the um, hydrogen peroxide solution, which is going to basically collect the uh, SO2 as it's transferred over. The way to do this is to take three drops of methyl red indicator solution and place three drops into the vessel. Alrighty. Next we're going to take a hydrogen peroxide solution. We're going to leave it right at the 3% concentration. And this is where the, the most important part of this test is, is watching for the color change on this side. And when we add our hydrogen peroxide to the methyl red indicator solution, this should turn a brilliant purple color, royal purple. If it doesn't turn purple, then your concentration of hydrogen peroxide 
is probably a little weak and you should get a fresh, uh, a fresh container. So we now have our hydrogen peroxide in there. Next, we need to now change this over to, to a teal color. And we do that by putting in a few droplets of, hydrogen, of sodium hydroxide to color change it back to an olive color. So I got just a little mixing rod. You can use a, um, a straw or, a or any little thing that can reach in there. And you're just gonna put in a few drops to stir it in. So you get this to a nice little olive color. Olive to teal. If you go to a bright teal, you've all right. You've gone just a little bit too far. So the key is to keep it this nice olive color. Are you able to see that? Oh, beautiful. So we now have our solution all built. And we are now going to plug in our aquarium pump. It is nice to have a stopwatch handy when you're running this test and run the test for I run the test for 15 minutes um, and you have a flow rate of 1.5 liters per minute so um, and run this test for 15 minutes if you have SO2 in your wine this is the color is going to change over to a purple the more purple it is the more you have and we're going to titrate at the end with a diluted solution of sodium hydroxide with our one-tenth normality, we are going to dilute it down to 0.01. So we take 10 milliliters of the sodium hydroxide with 90 milliliters of water, mix it around, and pour it into a graduated cylinder. I've already prepared the solution here. So all we're going to do is at the end, we are going to titrate out. I am going to top this up to zero so that my math is very easy while I'm titrating. So I'm going to bring it up to zero. We're now going to run the test for, let it just run for 15 minutes, and we will, this is a good time to kind of be cleaning up or doing other tests. Alright, so we're now down to about 30 seconds left on this test. As you can see, it's really turned back to that original purple color when we um, added the hydrogen peroxide originally, which is a good sign, which is telling me that we do have some free SO2 floating around in our wine, which is protecting our wine from, from the nasties. So we got uh, 15 more seconds. What we're going to do is, once this is stopped, we're going to unscrew this and we're going to drop it down to rinse out and try to get all of the wine that we can off of there. So, Alright, so our timer went up. We unplug it. And it's nice and handy to have a little squirt bottle. I'm just going to kind of rinse off anything on there, and that's going to give you your total. So now we have our nice solution. We need to now titrate the diluted sodium hydroxide until we get this back to the original olive color. So, nice easy drip by drip. And swirl it around. close. As you can see, we're starting to get some color change. Maybe not quite there, just a shade more. Alright, so back to the original olive color that we originally titrated with. So now, using uh, some simple mathematical calculations based off of the solution that we diluted it to, we titrated out 0.8 milliliters of um, sodium hydroxide to get our color change. We would now take that number and multiply it by 16, which will tell us how much free SO2 we have in our wine. That concludes another testing uh, 
class at Crestwell Wine Cellars. Thank you.